Um, no cuts. Okay, cutscene. <laughs> Tegan. Oh, oh Tegan. I didn't kill him. Okay, Are good. You all right? I like Tegan. I am better now, I think. For the moment. My mind is my own again. Blessed Andraste. I would never have forgiven myself had you died. Not after I brought you here. The fool I am. Please. Connor's not responsible for this. He is there responsible must be for some this. some way we can save him. You knew about this. You knew about this all along. I... Yes. I didn't tell you because I believed we could help him. I still do. I'm sorry, my lady, but Connor Hi, has become Jowen. an abomination. He's no longer your son. You! You did this to Connor! I didn't. I didn't summon any demon. I told you. Please, if you'll and let you me had help. him tortured, you stupid... Help? You betrayed me! I brought you here to help my son, and in return you poisoned my husband? This is the mage you spoke of? Didn't you say he was in the dungeon? He I let was. him out, lol. <laughs> I assumed the creatures had killed him by now. He must have been set free. Blame. He is no more to blame than you are, Lady Sold. That's right, and I stand by my decision. I know what you must think of me, my lady. I took advantage of your fear. I'm sorry. I never knew it would come to this. Well, I shan't turn away. Everybody his made Not mistakes. Yet. And if Connor is truly an abomination. He's not always the demon you saw. Connor is still inside him, and sometimes he breaks through. Please, I just want to protect him. Isn't that what started this? You hired the mage to teach Connor in secret, to protect him. If they discovered Connor had magic, then they'd take him away. I thought if he learned just enough to hide it, then... Then he would have no protection against the demons that were going to try and persuade him to let him take him over! Ugh! Foolish woman. Okay. Where's Connor now? Why did he run? I think he ran upstairs. To the family quarters. Violence scares him. I, I know that sounds strange. He may have run up to his room or... Um, or he might be waiting in ambush. I don't know. The fighting may have scared Connor into... Coming out again, and so he ran. So you're saying he may be vulnerable? I... Perhaps. Is there... Is there no other way? Mm. John, what can you add to this Demon discussion? Connor needs to be destroyed. Killing Connor is the easiest way to do that, certainly. But there is another way. Well, tell the me more. could confront the demon in the Fade. Without hurting Connor himself. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Is the demon not within Connor? Not physically. The demon approached Connor in the Fade while he dreamt and controls him from there. We can use the connection between them to find the demon. You can enter the Fade then? And kill the demon w without hurting my boy? No, but I can enable another mage to do so. It normally requires Lyrium and, and several mages. But I have... Blood magic. Oh dear. What difference does that make, Jowen? Tell us more. Ritual, but I can take that power from someone's life energy. This ritual requires a lot of it, however. All of it, in fact. So, so somebody has to die. Someone must die. Someone must be sacrificed. Yes, and then we send another mage into the Fade. I can't enter because I'm doing the ritual. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. It's not much of an option. No, no, it's not. Is there any other method? The power has to come from somewhere, and that means either lyrium or blood. Then let it be mine. Then let's go to the circle. Why would be the sacrifice? What? Is God, I almost want to let her do that Even just as she dies. <laughs> either someone kills my son to destroy that thing inside him, or I give my life so my son can live. To me, the answer is clear. Blood magic. How can more evil be of any help here? Two wrongs don't make a right. Connor is blameless in this. He should not have to pay the price. It. Uh, he it's did to agree you, to, the, to the to you the deal with the demon, though. So he's kind of to blame. And it's your companion going into the fade. 
The decision is yours. Mm -hmm. There must be another way to enter the fate. You can find Lyrium and more mages at the Circle of Magi. Boom! Let's go there! Tower's not far from that here. That is an excellent point. One of the treaties is also for the Circle of Magi, after all. The tower is about a day's journey across the lake. You could attempt to get the mages' help. But what will happen here? Connor will not remain passive forever. I will take that chance. Very well. It's I better than more people dying. He says he wants Save to help, everybody. so he will keep an eye on Connor Yay? with us. Yes. Go to the tower quickly, then. The longer you are away, the greater the chances of disaster. Will do. Okay. We've got a couple more things to do here. We're not going to go upstairs because that's Enemies where he is. Rushing. But we are going to destroy all these guys. Let's get started. Let's get started. He sounds so cheerful. Here, stab, 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 stab. Let's get started. Let's get started. Oh, I, I just laugh at how funny it's just I'm dead. That's what I get for not paying attention at all. Shield bash. Yeah. Nope. Alice, there, attack. Gosh darn it. Oh, actually, you know what? No, stop that. Do this. You got much less power without uh, without Sonia. At least it's not me running around in circles with Liliana. Okay, get up, Sonia. Good girl. Okay, we don't want to go up to the second floor because that's, that's where a certain person is. Looks dead, right? Yes! Yes, my love, it looks dead. This should be easy enough. Um, Sonia, stop running into a wall, please. Yeah? I keep trying aggro as a rogue. Sure, I do more damage, but I'm also a rogue. Excellent! Damn straight, Sonia. Um, thing? Ooh. I shall be taking that. I'm looking for that something in particular. Bad. Small silver ring, not what I'm looking for. Task complete. On to the next. room, not what I'm looking for. Shambling corpse, enraged corpse, um, a book, desk. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Okay, let's head out. We gotta go to see the Circle of Magi, which is probably gonna be in the next session, which means a stop on the party camp, so I can talk to peoples after leaving, of course. <laughs> And the very, very slow loading scene. There we go. Oh wait, I need to level. Right, that's the thing. Let's level. Let's see here. Let's get some more cunning. Because cunning is awesome. Wait, no. Let's not do that. You know what, actually? Yeah, we need some strength so we can actually carry weapons. Yeah, let's have one of those. One of these. Yeah. Can I? No, apparently that's not a thing I can take. I thought it was. I was wrong. Let's go to the party camp. I don't understand. You oh, hi, like Sten. I don't understand. You look like a woman. Are you flirting with me, Sten? I am a you woman. You are a Grey Warden, so it follows that you can't be a woman. Um. 
Grey Wardens can't be women? Women are priests, artisans, shopkeepers, or farmers. They don't fight. It's not a very comprehensive verse. That's not a universal truth. Some women fight. But if... Um... Why would women ever wish to be men? That makes no sense. I don't wish to be a man. I just like fighting. Uh, they don't wish to be men. Yep, they wish to be women who fight. Do they also wish to live on the moon? That's as attainable. I am a woman, though, and I am fighting, Stan. One of those Stan. things can't be true. A person is born, Gunari or human or elven or dwarf. He doesn't choose that. The size of his hands, whether he is clever or foolish, the land he comes from, the color of his hair, these are beyond his control. We do not choose. We simply are. Um... But a person can choose can what to they? do. We'll see. Yes, they can, Sten. What? What? Balls. Yes. Let's try this again. Um, what were you doing in that cage? Sitting, as you observed. Oh, God damn it! Very funny. Thank you. <laughs> okay, it was trying to be funny. Are you going to answer my question? I did. Oh, Pasha, God damn it. Was there anything else? Something Speak, you then. mentioned? Then I suggest no. you move on. I have a question. I am hardly surprised. Why did you come to, to Frill, answer then? a question. Uh, didn't I already ask him this? The Arishok asked, what is the blight? By his curiosity, I am now here. Do you have to report yes. back then? Are you still doing I cannot then? go home. Why not? It doesn't matter now. Ugh. We move on. We keep the dark spawn waiting. Fine. As you wish. Did I piss him off again? Oh, apparently I very much made him approve. Somehow. <laughs> okay, now let's. Oh, whoops. Sorry, Stan. Don't hurt me. Um. Okay, now we're gonna do the whole running through and giving people things. Now, I've actually got a list here. Yes, I actually pulled up a list because not doing so is silly. Liliana, these are for her. Hey, that's a wonderful thought. I don't know what to say. You could say thank you. <laughs> Alistair's mother's amulet. I wonder who that's for. Hmm. Let's see here. Silver Sword of Mercy. That's also for her. I... That's a wonderful thought. Oops. I don't know what to say. I think the painting is for, um... The lamb bone's obviously for dog. <laughs> but I think the painting's for, uh... For Sten, if I remember correctly. Small silver ring. Don't see anything so far. Yes, I'm still looking for a list. Shush your faces. Don't have shale yet. Painting of the Rebel Queen. Yep, that is definitely for Sten. I am impressed. My thanks. Good. He is starting to not like me. <laughs> Good thing I'm not gonna have him in the party for much longer. Let's see here. No, stop it. Uh, steel bracers. Who the hell do those go to? I don't know, but I do know this goes to dog. Alistair's mother's. Stop that. Stupid game. Not giving me things the way I tell it to. Looted, looted, bought gifts. So there are some gifts in this game that can go to anybody. I have... I think these two are of those. Yeah, these two can go to anybody. So let's give them to Sten. <laughs> Unexpected. Thank you. You have my thanks. Good, because I don't like it when you don't like me. It bugs me. And I have to give something to Alistair. Because the ale is for Algren. This Obviously. This is my mother's amulet. Yes, it, it is. has to be. But why isn't it broken? Where did you find it? Um, I found it in Red Cloud Castle in the study. You were standing oh, right next to me when I grabbed Alistair? it. <laughs> then he must have found the amulet after I threw it at the wall. Yes. And he repaired it and kept it. Yep, because he I loves you. Why would he do that? Because he loves you. I guess you could be right. 
We never really talked that much. And then the way I left. Thank you. Aww. I mean it. I thought I'd lost this to my own stupidity. I'll need to talk to him about this if he recovers from his... When he recovers, that is. We'll let you talk to him, Alistair. Don't worry about it, honey buns. It? Yes, wow. I did. Huh. I'm more used to people not really listening when I go on about things. Um, of course I remembered. You're special to me. You're my love interest. Is this the part when the music starts and we begin dancing because I'm game? <laughs> Where's the minstrels? I don't think that's how it works. Oh, cool. People like me now. Yay! Let's go talk to people. Hi, Liliana. You got something to say? I... Have I ever told you I really like the way you wear your hair? Oh no, this is when she hits on me. I'm sorry, honey. I may also like women. IRL, but I like Alistair more. 